Welcome to this Pilot Partner training video on how to import flights using the new Pilot Partner import routine. Pilot Partner will accept any comma separated value or CSV import file. CSVs are very easy to create using Microsoft Excel. Just choose the File Save As option, then select CSV as one of your options. So let's take a look at what a valid import file looks like. Your valid import file looked at in Excel, your first row will be your column headers. It's very important that your first row has things like date, type, tail number, from, to, total time, and so forth. Now your from and to, you can actually combine that into one column called route of flight if you want. And then you have all your additional categories such as complex, single engine land, and your remarks and notes. You can create any custom column that you want, whether it's a standard FAA category or something unique that you want to track, and Pilot Partner will import it and will guide you through the process of how to match it up to the columns that are in Pilot Partner or create new custom categories for you. Now, if you don't have a import file that you want to start with, Pilot Partner will give you a good blank template. You can go to the My Account page, Export Logbook, and download your export. This will export any flights that you already have in Pilot Partner, or if you don't have any, it will give you a blank file with all the column headers that Pilot Partner supports by default. The only thing that's missing is some of the aircraft specific items, such as single engine land, airplane, helicopter, or things like that. You can add columns for single engine land and aircraft category and class if you want and populate those. Or you can just go ahead and ignore these columns because if you enter a valid tail number, Pilot Partner will look up that tail number in the FAA database and automatically apply the correct aircraft category, class, and type. So, for the most part, I recommend just not including aircraft category, class, and type. But let's go back to a known file that we're going to use for this demo. Now, again, you have your columns up top where you have date, type, tail number, to, from, total time. These are all required fields. Pilot Partner needs a date, an aircraft type, your tail number, at least one column for route of flight if not from and to in a total time. If you don't have those as a minimum, you will not be able to import the file and Pilot Partner will alert you to the error. Starting at row number two, going down to row 39 or however many flights you have, each row should be a valid flight. And each row should contain those required fields such as tail number, date, and total time. Be careful that there's no additional rows at the bottom. Some import files you get from third-party providers will put totals at the bottom for you. Uh, if you have those, simply go ahead and delete those rows so that only your column headers and your flights are in your file. So if you have totals like this, highlight the extra rows and delete them. Now in Excel, all you have to do is choose File, Save As, and ensure that the comma separated value is selected. So we will go to the file, save as, choose the folder that you want to save it in, and ensure the type is set to CSV. This will create that CSV file that Pilot Partner will be able to import. And now that we have a valid file, let's take one last look at some of the required fields and the fields that are in this file. Again, you have your route of flight, your different landings, night landings, nighttime, IMC, and your remarks. And even if your remarks are captured over two different columns, Pilot Partner will read that. To start your import, we start at our dashboard and choose Configure Menu Option and then Import Data. The first step is you're going to select that file that we just created and it will upload to the Pilot Partner server and Pilot Partner will read that file 
and up top it will show you your first three lines so you have some good context information of what your file looks like. And then down below will be a list of all the columns that were in your import file. Each column name gets automatically matched to a likely match that's in Pilot Partner. So date equals flight date, tail number equals tail number, from and to equals route of flight, total equals total. If Pilot Partner is unable to make a match, you will see a red X under the object column alerting you to the fact that it was the wrong, that it could not find a match. If it doesn't find a match, you will simply select from the drop down list and choose the best item available to to make that to make a match. So if tail number wasn't your tail number, you can select something different. If you have custom categories that Pilot Partner does not recognize, Pilot Partner will go through in any one of these items, whether it's a flight category, aircraft property, and will allow you to create a new item. So if you wanted a new item called Pilot and Command instead of PIC, Pilot Partner would allow you to do that during the import. But since we know PIC actually equals the built-in Pilot and Command category, we will just select that, telling Pilot Partner that that's the category that this column belongs to. Once you've ensured that all your columns are set correctly, click the Next button, and then Pilot Partner will take you to the aircraft screen where it will read each and every aircraft that is in your import file. And what Pilot Partner will try to do is look up each aircraft either in its local database or in the FAA database. So in this case it found November 8165 Charlie automatically in the Pilot Partner database. So it knows that it's an airplane single engine land PA28151 then all you have to do is look over the properties associated with it to ensure the right ones are checked. Based upon your import columns, Pilot Partner will automatically try to check the correct ones. But if it's not checked, simply add it and Pilot Partner will apply that item to each aircraft that you select. Now you'll notice that some are not found, like the Redbird FMX. When I fly the Redbird simulators, I log a tail number of Redbird FMX so I can separate those totals out. When this happens, you simply just make sure that the aircraft category, aircraft class, and aircraft type are correctly filled out, and then that the correct aircraft properties are checked off. So in this case, we want to ensure that the simulator checkbox is checked off. Once we make sure that all the items are correct with this, Pilot Partner will correctly import all flights tagged to Redbird FMX and give you credit for simulator time. Now if we look down below, 8035 Golf again was found, but this is a 177RG and based upon the data that was in my import file, it knew that it was a complex aircraft so it automatically checked it. So make sure you review each and every aircraft and then you select the next button which will take you to the final summary screen before we actually do any imports. The summary screen will give you all the details of what will happen. 39 flights will be imported, 4 different aircraft, 19 different airports, and 68.2 hours of total time. It also will let you know if there's any columns that are excluded and the list of columns that are included. Some logbook import files will have columns that you simply don't match to anything in Pilot Partner and don't want imported. Those will be listed under the excluded columns. Then there are two import options that are important. You can delete your existing flights or zero your carry-in totals. Now if you've imported flights already and maybe been playing around with Pilot Partner, and now that you're ready to do your import, you want to start fresh, deleting your existing flights is a valid option. Now, this is, does exactly what it says it will do. It will delete all of your flights in the system. So we're going to make you check twice that you really mean to do this. Now, your carry-in totals are similar, where you'll have to check twice in order to have it zero out your carry-in totals. But if you remember, when you sign up for Pilot Partner, you have the option to not import or type in all your old flights and simply give us a total 
of the flights you want to start with so you can start logging going forward. Well, you may want to eventually import all your old flights and zero in your carry-in totals will automatically zero those out for you. So for this import, we will not delete or zero our totals and click next. And now Pilot Partner will read your import file and will go through and import every one of those flights for you. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and watch the status bar move across the screen. Once the flights are finished importing, you will automatically be taken back to your dashboard where you can see the results of your flights, including all the airports that you visited during your last 10 flights, your currency is now updated, and your flight totals in the upper right corner are all correct based upon your import. And at this point, you are ready to go with your imported flights.